Okay, so it's been a while since the last time I updated, um, I provided an update on score bars. But since when people started using them recently, I figured I'd, uh, provide a new one on the things I've been working on since then. Or the things I recently added, anyway. Um, the first new thing would be that the whole admin page is completely redesigned from what it was. Well, it was a lot basic before, now it's, uh, it looks a little better, I guess. I don't know, I, end, I might end up changing it. I'm probably going to redesign it again in the future. More than likely. More than likely. The second thing would be that there's a... I added a few more styles since last time. Um, you may or may not think some of them fit a fighting game, but... Well, you may be right, but I like them anyway. But you have the option have options so uh, I'll show you uh, I'll show you the, some of the ones I added since last time what was the last one so the monster hunter one I think came out the best so far. That's kind of cool. Um, actually, I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but if you're playing online, I mean, this is mostly geared to people that are maybe you know, having a tournament, maybe you're playing locally or something like that. But if you're just playing randoms online, I forgot. I'm not sure if I said it last time, but you can make it so there's only one bar on one side, so you're not. It's just not two bars making no sense. So all you gotta do there is um, all you gotta do there is make sure the name and the player two side is empty and the score is empty, and then override it, and that's it. And then it'll give you the one player side. Star Wars one, which is seems a little odd, but yeah, doesn't look too bad. I might need to adjust that though, since it comes, it hangs too low. Okay, and the last one I made recently because of I saw a gameplay of this game right here, which is Grand Blue Versus. Um, I kind of just copied the one that they had in that Daigo video, but I like how subtle it was. Easy peasy, right? And the spacing and everything is a lot different from before. Also added clan and sponsor tags. Since the last update, so I don't know if you if you're sponsored or something like that. It's just you get your four-letter abbreviation that you can add. And nameplates. I think nameplates. Is, I think it's pretty cool. It's a little something to add, something extra to add to your to your little name above. Um, which, after watching a stream, you can probably use it as a, a place to put your team names. You know? And let's see, hold on. So, this would be the nameplate. Name 
plates are, yeah, right there. So under mine it says the terror, under his it says Voltec Rose. But you can use it, yeah, again, you can use it for your team, yeah, I just think it's a little something, a little something extra you can add, optional, or whatever. And that's kind of it, I think, since, since the last update. I also forgot to mention some of the things I, um, I may be working on sooner or later, which should be, would be something big, uh, Actually, not, not, nothing too big. The biggest thing maybe would be a, pre, a player bracket that you can um, overlay overlay on your screen for tournaments and stuff like that, and also round tags with like winners round, grand finals, etc. And after watching the stream the other day, I'm thinking tags for commentators without plans, so maybe something on the side that identifies who's who. And I think that's about it for now. Any um, suggestions? Well. Also, I started a Patreon because I finally got a supporter that, I don't know, they they feel they're feeling generous and donated. Shout out to Hito Shore. Uh, thank you. And, um, I mean, everything is free, but if you want to, if you're feeling generous, you can go ahead and help out. Until next time.